Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Swiss Cheems back with a Brawl deck. But before I jump into it, I'm only 10 subs away from 100 subscribers. So if you have been enjoying my videos, please hit that like and subscribe button. Today we're playing with Arcadis the Strategist, a 4 mana 3-5 Flying Vigilance, Legendary Creature Elder Dragon. Whenever a creature with Defender enters a battlefield under your control, draw a card. Each creature you control with Defender assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power and can attack as though it didn't have Defender. That's right, we have all the big booties in the deck. I'm talking 1 mana 04s, 2 mana 05s, 4 mana 06s, and 11 mana 215s. All the big butts are in here. But yeah, let's quickly go over this deck. It's pretty straightforward for the most part. We're ideally trying to curve with high toughness creatures like the Ophers, the O5s, the 1-5s, etc. And then on turn 4 we slam the Arcadis and all our creatures with defenders she can attack and deal a ton of damage hopefully. But of course this deck is so reliant on Arcadis that I did include a bunch of ways to protect it. Such as 1 mana counters like Swan Song and Offer You Can't Refuse, text proof tricks like Dive Down. And heroic intervention. I might need a little more of the hexproof card, but for, for now, I think the counters plus stuff like reprieve and lapse should be okay enough to protect Arcadis. I also had a small problem where I was kind of low on creatures, so I added a lot of the good one mana ramp, which is always good in any green deck. As well as just um, cards that pay off for having low power creatures like Mentor of the Meek and Welcoming Vampire. And like I said, it's important that Arcadis is on the board. So if it's dead, uh, we have cards like High Alert, um, Salt Formation, Walking Bulwark, and Teo, which can allow our defenders to attack. If Arcadis isn't on the board. Aside from efficient white removal, we also have one sided white sweepers, such as Expel the Interlopers and Dusk. Uh, basically, since all our defenders should have like zero power or very low power, th these two wraths should hopefully just destroy all your opponent's creatures while keeping your side of the board alive. Well, yeah, if you guys are interested in trying the deck for yourselves, the link will always be in the description below. But yeah, overall, this deck looks pretty fun. It's more um, more gimmicky than powerful, I think. But let's see how it performs. Okay, game one against Nikea of the Old Ways. One of the... Uh, you can't cast non-creature spells whenever you tap a land for mana. Add one mana of any type that mana produced. I think we can do better with our hand though. No, we can't. Okay, that's capable. And... kind of like the dive down. I think I'm just going to pitch the bookcase here and just wrap into Arcadis maybe. Let's put a Pathway and Elvish Mystic. Next turn, we can play Captive and maybe hold up the dive down. But we probably want to save that for Arcadis. Win it with the Paradise Druid. Oh, that's... That's pretty good, right? Yeah. Is that worth protect protecting, though? I guess I'm not going to protect it, but maybe I should have considered it. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Whenever this deals combat damage, create a treasure token, exile the top card of your library. Till end of turns, you may cast this card. Oh, of that player's library. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's just play out... Arcadis here? Uh, 
And I guess we keep the battlement back, right? Nah, let's attack. <laughs> We've got the dive down for protection as well, so the only way we can win is by beating them down, but I can have a access to a ton of mana if I cannot. Okay, amazing draw. I guess we can draw with our captive first. Maybe grab a land. Attack in for seven here. Okay, we're actually looking pretty decent. That Oracle still might be a problem, but Ikea is definitely worse. Hey, can we cast this right now? The Otawara? Cost three, so we cannot. But yeah, thankfully they're not hitting any lands off the top of their library, so this is pretty good for us. I get a game one dub. Nice. Alright. Is that fun? No. Okay, game two on the draw. Against Hamza, Guardian of Arashin. A legendary Elephant Warrior. Six mana, five, five. This cost one less to cast for each, count each creature with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Creature spells you cost plus one less for to cast for each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it. Okay. And looks okay. Definitely keepable. We don't have any green. And I think I'm gonna start off with the archive instead of the watchdog. I think that's okay to keep. This uh, expel the interlopers might need to do overtime in this matchup. Whenever Grateful Apparition deals combat damage to a player or Planeswalker, proliferate. But I think we just go with the Signet here. And play out the Watchdog. So I don't think we need to keep open the one mana wash away. Here's the counters. Hey, you look like a worthy opponent. I will help you through this. Still no green, but we can still cast the Arcadus if we want. However, I think I'll just play the birth of Miletus here. Keep open the Upstantiate. And next turn play Arcadus. Ah, honestly, this was wrong. If I played the Arcadus, I could have actually killed their, their Yang. But I was I thought I had a protection spell, but I forgot this is Watch Away. <laughs> I thought this was dive down for a second, so I was like, oh next turn I can play Arcadus and keep open. Uh, the protection. But again, we could just um, expel once I um, commit to putting more creatures, so I think we're still in a fine position here. Be your best self. I'll just take the damage here. My turn. Play out the Caretaker. Play out the Glacial Fortis and just Fortress and just pass here. And next turn we'll expel the Interlopers. 
and clear all their creatures and none of ours. Unless we die this turn somehow. <laughs> Yes. Share in my strength. The other option is I could have actually played Arcadus last turn. And then when I cast Expel the Interlopers, I could have gave my Arcadus Indestructible. <laughs> Big flip right there. I wonder if I play out the Nganja to play against like mana type. I think that's worth it here. Like yeah, we can just pick one. Oh we can pick two here. And yeah there goes their entire board and none of our uh defenders. And do we play out the vines? I guess we I like keeping open the substantiate here. But yeah, the one-sided sweepers are really, really insane. Well, they're one-sided because our all our creatures' power is like one or zero, right? Beginning of your end step, create a one-one green insect token for each plus one plus one you put on creatures you control this turn. Yeah, let's just slow them down here make sure we get rid of their wild crafter next turn and we should start drawing some cards here Maybe I want to keep open Wash Away, but I... Yeah, they can't really cast that, so... Let's just cast out the Vine Wall. Maybe hit a blue source. I don't know if we played a land this turn. I guess Otawara is just good here. I guess both those lands are... Good enough to just keep in my hand for a bit. Alright, we're looking really, really good. And yep, <laughs> the opponent is off of it. I mean, great start, 2 0. Nice. Let's get to the next game. Against Galadriel. Whenever the ring tempts you, if you choose a creature other than Gladriel, uh, scry three. Whenever you scry, you may reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land, uh, put it onto the battlefield tapped. It paused. Lost zero mana. Active negation. Alright, looks like we're relying on this tower defense. Oh, for the love of God, find some land, please. Nice. It is tapped, though. Looks like they got a lot of counters up there if they're just passing through. Love to get this discounted to one. That's the game plan. But it's for one mana and hope we can't remove it. Start attacking with a 15 15, potentially.
go for the memory lapse here. And I think I'd rather get the vampire online before the shield mage. Oh, that's a cool combo here. Nice. They did hit. Yeah, it's whenever you scry, I thought they'd have to attempt the ring every time. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh... I think it's game over here. Especially because they have a Pact of Negation in their hand. Play the shield mage, or it's better to just play the chaplain. Let's play the wing mantle chaplain here. We could probably play this for one mana after this. Yep. Let's go! One mana, two fifteen. They're probably just gonna bounce everything <laughs> with their own cyclonic rift. Almost pretty good, too. Dang, we need a high alert or something, though, right? It's indestructible. Maybe they don't have a part of my life. I mean, I'll I'll probably priority off. still. Serpents. I mean, we're still okay. They don't have any reach creatures. You need to find a high alert, please. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can overload the Cyclonic Rift if they don't have a counter spell, which I think is pretty unlikely. Oh no, the center's tapped. Damn it. No. Oh no, I should have drawn a card first. Oh, I'm gonna get punished for drawing an untapped land here. No! Oh, wait, this is also. <laughs> this also enters that. Okay. No punish, but. Don't need to really play the Arcadus either. I just gotta hope they don't have a counter spell in their hand. That's not good. <laughs> Are we dead? Are they gonna attack everything?
Maybe I need more training. Don't care about that anymore. Just scoop it up here. Oh. Don't need to scoop her dead. All right, against Myth Weaver Pock on the play. An okay hand, and his power and toughness is equal to the number of lands you control. Whenever one or more non-token lands enters the battlefield under your control, for each of them conjure a duplicate of it onto the battlefield. This ability only triggers one per turn. Once per turn. Let's get us a shock land. What do we need? Blue green. All right. We do have a pretty nice curve here. Especially with this. But can we actually... Yeah, we can play the uh, Pride on turn 3. And then turn 4 Arcadus for a 15-15, hopefully. So good, so good. All right, let's make sure I have an untapped land. Two or more other lands. Here we go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> 23 damage turn four. All right, that's probably the best this deck's gonna do. That was freaking amazing. Turn three, probably have the Hulk laid. But he can work. I think this hand is fine on the play against Trada. Deadly Fugitive, three mana, one four. Death Touch. Oh, Death Touch is gonna be annoying. Face down creatures you control have uh four turn this creature face up if you can't exile it then you may cast the exiled card without paying its mana cost whenever an assassin you control deals combat damage to an opponent cloak the top card of that player's library yeah this mask up is um awful for us because um <laughs> this is death touch and none of our creatures are gonna have attack excuse me where were you last turn It's better. Probably still playing out the Mystic. Turn too late though. This is an assassin. Yes, it is. Really don't want to spend two mana to bounce that though. I want to try to race. Use the butt of stand strands there. Alright. Yeah, I do let them get down their Atrata here, but... I think that's okay. We don't have anything amazing for them to want to steal anyways.
I wonder if I should just bounce this now. Need one more mana here. Doesn't feel too great here. I think I will bounce Prada. Masker girl here though first. But if they don't kill Arcadas, we can just win the turn after. Dang it, I think that's safer. They they gotta have a removal. They just haven't had anything to use it on yet. One, two, three, four, five. If you do draw a line next turn, I can play Arcadis plus Tower Defense in one turn. It's not a land, but I think it's good enough to keep here. Hopefully they don't have a counter. Oh, wow! <laughs> I always ignore the middle phase because it's always irrelevant, but each... Yeah, we gain back control of our own um, face down cards there. That's absolutely hilarious. It tapped me out of my blue, so I can't keep open the dive down. Ah, dang it. I don't think we attack. Just in case they have an instant speed removal, they can kill our Arcadas and block with their Atrata. Ah, dang it. Should have manually tapped. But maybe there's a small chance they don't have removal. Okay. Okay, we got a little lucky there. The auto tapper was definitely gonna screw us over. Let's go for some attacks here. You can flip this and tower defense, so that's a decent attack. I wonder if they die. They probably have too much HP, right? Yeah, I think they have too much HP to just die here. If I attack out. Alright, let's go like this. It's pretty close. I should have done the map more, but... <laughs> Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, that was they need a wrap. A wrap will just put them right back in the game, though. Nice. That's the best I've ever seen the fall of Lord Conda. Let's go. All right, on the play against another Mythweaver Pock. I see this card too often. You guys play other <laughs> other commanders? 
I thought I'd get matched up against not so popular commanders with um Arcadus, but I guess not. Start off with the maze here. It is nice to protect the Arcadis, but... but they're not going to have that much interaction, right? They only have a few fight spells. I mean, going into going like Taker plus Watchdog and then the Battlement to ramp us really, really fast is pretty good, though. So I guess I will keep it. All right, can play the Arcadis next turn and start swinging. Or I could play the Battlements first. It's also gonna be real big. <laughs> What's better here? One, two, three, four mana. Damn it. Ah. Uh... Might keep that in there. Let's find out. Doesn't seem amazing against uh, Jora. Weather like Captain. Whenever you cast a historic spell, draw a card. Yeah, I think we can do better. Seems much better. But we are low on land. Hey, it's the first time seeing Tetsuko. Whenever a creature with power or toughness one or less, sorry, creatures you control with power or toughness one or less cannot be blocked. And hopefully just hit our lands. Also, we do that mode smothering type for the first time. Again, which I added in the deck because I, I had one more slot and I just remembered when my opponent played this, I... I found it super annoying. <laughs> Let's just play the Signet here and hopefully we hit one more land for the Tithe, because honestly it's going to be really good against their Captain. Unfortunate. Let's play the Caravan. Little late there, foil passage. I guess that would have been a tapped land. Here we go. Ooh, they're popping off. Hawks Amber is insane. Smothering Tides last turn would have been pretty, pretty, pretty sick. Another tapped land, eh? Could exile. Again, tap land really messing with us. Have access to so much mana as well. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Yeah, I think I need to exile their captain. We just don't have a follow up.
still have four mana even after casting this for six. Yikes. The tithe, the tithe would have popped off. No. Maybe we can get them with this Tetsuko or something, though. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Aha! Finally got it online. Let's go. O4 Reach Defender. Yeah, my plan is to hopefully a high alert and then Tetsuko, but we need to get like 20 plus power on the board first to her toughness, so pretty unlikely for that to work out for us. Especially with the opponent having a full grip of hands here. Up cards, sorry. Waiting for them to play something crazy and then we can scoop <laughs> go to the next game. Yeah, good enough. Alright, on the play against Ugin, the ineffable. I mean I'd F I'd F <laughs> I'd F <laughs> something I'd F. <clears throat> A good hand will keep it. Uh six mana planeswalker here, color spells you cast cost two less. Uh, exile the top card of your library face down and look at it. Create a 2 2 spirit creature token. When this token leaves the battlefield, put the exiled card into your hand and just minus three is destroy target permanent. That's one or more colors. We have a good hand here. And it's probably my last game. I had a bunch of non games that I. Oh no! Just kidding, this isn't my last game. One more game. All right, opponent is playing the first sliver, so I assume they're gonna wrap into this real fast and destroy us. <laughs> but yeah, the first sliver, 7-7, seven, seven, Wooberg to cast, has Cascade and gives other slivers Cascade as well. Um, uh, Yeah, this is gonna be our last game. Because I've been recording for well over an hour but I do have quite a bit of like just non-games that I'm probably just going to cut out. So we'll see how much actual gameplay I have. Probably should have played the Sanctum. But it still enters untapped next turn, so it shouldn't matter here. I say it shouldn't matter, but I kind of want to play the Brushlands. So we can play... The adept if we draw a white source. Just like that. It looks like our sanctum is gonna get is gonna enter tap when we play it. A little bit of a misplay. Yeah we can play this alchemy card which conjures um one fours onto the battlefield and makes call cards in their hand cost more. Or can Play this off the top of my library. What's better here? Ah, let's go for the tail. My greatest joy is knowing here. Stand behind us. Take a peek at your hand. Oh. What did they reveal though? When it enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals a non-land card at random from their hand. It gains. Does he have nothing but lands? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> All right, and the plus one makes it a Time to four four. I guess I should have plus the um, effigy there. Missed one damage technically. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Let's let's pretend like that didn't happen. And I did play the Arcadis. 
before attacking. Quick little double misplay to uh, end it off. We gotta we gotta end off things right here. All right, there it is, the first sliver. Brickery. <laughs> I mean, we don't have anything for you in our deck, so that should be fine. Oh. <laughs> Are they probably gonna get to go off with this Colossus? We can't have lost to Legend that though. I'm in danger. Lucky or what, but I think we just lose here. <laughs> so this is the rat and spell, right? They just happen to hit the Colossus. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yep, yep, yep. Hopefully, I uh, figure out how to uh, make this part of the video speed up. That'll be my goal. <laughs> I've, I've never seen this. You can have a click, have a click to scroll through the lands they have. That's so funny. Oh my god, how many lands have they played this turn? This, yeah, five lands, right? One, two, three, four, five. Oh god, oh god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight, okay. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 22, 23. Oh, I guess I can count the toughness, right? So I enter the five. Wait. Please. Wait, does this mean they've drawn? Is there a whole deck just lands and Colossus? <laughs> Is that what's happening right now? Oh, that, that's so funny. But yeah, they played, what, 40 lands this turn? You must have a way to get a pace, right? So your plan is to ca cast the sliver, hit the trickery, play the Colossus, and then... And then kill me. It took me way too long to realize they're playing nothing but lands. Super funny. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll play this deck too. Why is this a real expensive deck, right? Does it have to have like every freaking land? Every good land? I guess it doesn't. I guess you don't need to put all the good lands, but obviously if you want to hit five different colors on turn five, you want to play as many other rare lands as you can. this right? nope wait they don't have a haste so if i had a removal they, they wouldn't win oh, lucky for them <laughs> don't have a removal Ah, there we go. Return maze ends to its owner's hand. Search your library for a gate card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. If you control 10 or more gates with different names, you win the game. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty sick. I love it. I love it. Such a troll. Such a troll. But yes, uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I think the deck is more fun than good, but 
If you guys haven't, please hit that sub button, like the video, really helps grow my channel. I'm trying to hit 100 views. But yeah, see you guys next time.